Hello there, dear friends! Do you know what? Everybody is so happy to have Christmas now, but there is somebody who isn't happy at all. It is Badger, and it is his book, Grumpy Badger's Christmas. Have fun! Grumpy Badger's Christmas It was almost Christmas, and the forest was a flurry of activity. The animals were bustling here and there, putting up the Christmas tree, wrapping presents, making tasty puddings and pies, while the young ones scampered about, squeaking with excitement. Everybody was looking forward to Christmas. Well, almost everybody. Grumpy Badger looked out of his window and scowled. Happy Christmas! shouted Squirrel. Happy Christmas! Bah! he shouted back. What piffle! I am a sensible creature and I sleep all through the cold winter. Now I am going to bed until the spring, and if anyone wakes me, I shall be very, very grumpy. And with that, he pulled his window shut with a Clunk! Grumpy Badger knew he would be hungry when he woke, so he checked his ladder. There were puddings, pickles and pastries, packets of hams and cheeses, crispy crackers, jars of fruit and stickers with gems. That should do, he said. Then he filled his hot water bottle and climbed into bed. He had just closed his eyes when there was a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. It was Mole. Happy Christmas, Mr. Badger, he said timidly. I'm sorry to bother you. I've been trying to put lights on the Christmas tree, but it's just too big. Could I please borrow your ladder? Christmas tree, spluttered Grumpy Badger. Piffle and double piffle. Christmas is for sleeping, and that's what I am trying to do. And he closed the door with a bang. Bah! huffed Grumpy Badger, climbing into bed. Borrow my ladder indeed. All I want is a bit of peace and quiet and leave me alone. He peeked under his bed, where he'd put more food for springtime candies and cookies and cherry cupcakes. Then he cuddled deep into his big, warm udder down. He was just starting to snore when there was another knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. This time it was Squirrel. Hello, Badger, he said cheerily. I brought you a Christmas present. Christmas present, snorted Grumpy Badger. Piffle and triple piffle! I don't like presents and I don't like Christmas! All I want is a little peace! And he shut the door with a crash! Now Grumpy Badger was really grumpy. To cheer himself up, he thought about the bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade he had in the cellar. Then he lay down and closed his eyes. But he couldn't sleep. His head felt a little chilly. Suddenly there was a loud banging at the door. Ben, Ben, Ben! Oh, what is it now? Grumpy Badger sighed. He was about as tight and grumpy as Badger can be. Oh, Badger! panted Rabbit. Help! It's poor Mole! He is stuck at the top of the Christmas tree. Come quickly! Piffle! shouted Grumpy Badger, and triple piffle with knobs on. Why can't everyone just leave me alone? And he slammed the door so hard that the wall house shook. Slam! At long last, Grumpy Badger fell asleep. But soon he was tossing and turning and wriggling and squirming. He was dreaming of mole. 
dangling by tiny paw from the top of an enormous Christmas tree. Mol was trembling, Mol was losing his grip, Mol was about to fall. <sighs> no! screamed Grumpy Badger, sitting bolt upright and suddenly wide awake. What have I done? he yelled. He jumped out of bed, grabbed his ladder and dashed into the street. Grumpy Badger raced up to the Christmas. Three. Hold on, Mole! he cried. He scrambled up the ladder, scooped Mole gently into his arms, then helped him down to the ground. I'm so sorry, said Grumpy Badger. What a grumpy old fool I've been. You're a hero now, said Squirrel, and he gave Badger back his Christmas present, a soft, fluffy nightcap. But I've been so grouchy said Grumpy Badger. What can I do to make things better? And then he knew. Badger's Christmas party was the best ever. There were puddings, pickles and pastries, cheeses and hams and sticky sweet jams, cookies and cupcakes and bottles and bottles of homemade lemonade. They kicked and jiffed and joked and laughed late into the night. Happy Christmas, everybody, Badger cried. And if you don't all come to my party next year, I shall be very grumpy indeed. <laughs>